bispika ningetaka kusema kwamba ni kikatiba ni halali kwa watu kuandamana na kuleta malalimishi yao kwa viongozi na kulalamikia mambo ambayo haiendi sawa kwa maisha yao uh, bispika ninasikitika kwamba maandamano imechukuliwa kama ni ya viongozi kama imepangwa na patilida wangu kama inapangwa na seneta sifuna kama imepangwa na viongozi wa asimio bali maandamano yaliyo inaoendelea ni ya wananchi wenyewe ambao wanaumia na maisha jinsi ilivyo maisha imepanda bispika na wananchi wameshindwa kupata chakula wameshindwa kulipia karo ya watoto wameshindwa kujibudu kimaisha kwa hivyo ni wananchi wenyewe ambao wanandai haki yao bispika Sasa mbi speaker ninashangaa kwamba Sheragei Senator Sheragei ametoka kwenda kuchukua muda wako na bado niko Senator hapa kwa flu. Bi speaker Senator si, uh, just hold. Senator Sifuna approach the chair. Approach the chair. Proceed Senator Beth. Ninaomba ku, ninaomba kusema mambo yaliyoko inaniuma sana. Resume Senator Beth. Asante B speaker. Ningetaka kusema kwamba maandamano ambayo inaendelea ni wananchi wenyewe wa Kenya wanajitetea na kundai haki yao. Si kwa, kwamba ati maandamano imepangwa na viongozi wa azimio kwa sababu wa Kenya wenyewe ndo wanaumia. B speaker yale mambo yanaendelea kusema kwamba ati wa Kenya wanasukumwa kwenda kuuliwa hiyo ni uongo kwa sababu tunajua vizuri sana kwamba katiba yetu ya Kenya inapea mwananchi ngufu na uweza na akona haki ya kuungana kutetea haki yake kwa hivyo ile haki mwananchi yako nayo na ameipitisha kwa viongozi anaweza dai hayo mamlaka na irudishe ndiposa andai haki yake Bispika ningetaka kusema kwamba hii ni nyumba ya heshima na kwa hakika senate wananchi wanatutengemea itakuwa ni vibaya sana kama kutasimama kiongozi hapa aseme uongo kwamba ati wale wanaoenda maandamano ndio wanasababisha uharibibu wa mali ndio wanasababisha vivo na tunajua vizuri sana kama sisi wanaazimio tungeachwa kuenda kwa barabara na kundai ya kietu bila kuingiliwa na polisi bila kuingiliwa na wauni ambao wanapangwa na senators kama Cheragei basi akunge kuwa na furugu ya yote wa, wa, your point of order senator meth um, uh, because we would not want to keep interrupting uh, our colleagues madam speaker but i find it uh, uh, imputing very improper motive madam speaker for a senator to uh, impute the senator charge is organizing goons to counter um, to counter um, uh, protesters, Madam Speaker. So um, that that is that is uh, against the rules of debate, Madam Speaker. Unless Senator Bell can be able to substantiate yes. that uh, Senator Charagay organizes goons to counter uh, protesters, yes. then I find it uh, uh, grossly out of order. Resume your seat, Senator Beth.
Can you substantiate that statement? That's a weighty statement. Asante B. Speaker. Kwa, kwa kweli naweza elezea. Kwa sababu tukiwa hapa, sisi wote ni shahidi, Senator Cheragei ameita Senator Sifuna Gun. Hiyo ni kumanisha nini? Kwa hivyo hao ndo wanapanga senator, na kuchochea wanainji. Senator, senator kama Senator Cheragei, Senator Medhu, wanachochea wana wanainji, ndiposa waonyeshe kwa mba sisi diyo tukona the shida. The chair is speaking now. I have... I have asked you, Senator Beth, to substantiate that there is an organization of goons by Senator Chiralige. If you have, or you withdraw. You withdraw that or substantiate. Let's have order, Senators. I'm with Senator Beth and Senator Chiralige. Just that to, Sen Senator Methu, let's have order. Senator Beth, you withdraw. Asante B. Speaker. You Akika ninanjua kuna, kuna, kuna ushaidi B. Speaker. Where is evidence? Nitaleta ushaidi maana Senator Sheragei ameiweka kwa Twitter, imesamba kwa social media. Kwa hivyo hakuna kitu ya kuficha. I ni direct. ukweli ni ukweli. Senator kwa hivyo kama ni kuna ushaidi. Senator Beth, sab... I direct you to give that substantiation and evidence tomorrow to 30. Point of information, uh, Senator Kajan. Yes, B. Speaker, nimekumbali. But, but, Madam Speaker, I wanted to inform Senator Betsy Yengo because she said that if the police did not interfere with peaceful protesters when the demo started, and Madam Speaker, I wanted to inform Senator Betsy Yengo that on the first day that the people of Kenya decided to come out to protest, the people of South Africa also did the same, led by the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF. And Madam Speaker uh, and, and Senator Siengo, the difference is that in South Africa, the EFF were accompanied by the police, they were given security law and order was maintained, whereas in Kenya, the peaceful protesters were bastardized, 